The Telegraph newspaper has today exposed UK energy companies for hoarding £9 billion of customers' money. Energy companies say that they ramp up direct debits, deliberately overcharging customers in the summer so that their accounts are sufficiently in credit to manage their bills in the winter. This is errant nonsense. If you needed a builder to fix your roof and they said, well, it will probably cost you 10 grand, but give me 20 grand in advance, just in case it costs more, just for your own convenience, just to make life easier for you. How would you respond? You'd tell them to get lost and you'd hire someone else because you're not an idiot. Except we can't do that with energy companies because they're all collaborating on this extortion and the government lets them get away with it. You have countless energy companies to choose from, but they're all engaging in the same illicit practices. As in so many areas of our lives, choice is an illusion and we're all left at the mercy of crooks. Either you let them take excessive direct debit amounts out of your bank account or their debt collection agents break into your home, cut you off and install prepayment meters. Surely these practices, which essentially amount to thieving money out of your bank accounts and breaking into your homes, are overtly criminal. And yet energy companies seem to be able to circumvent the law and our government makes no effort to regulate their behaviour. This is, of course, because these criminal companies are protected by an even bigger industry, the globalist climate crisis mafia. We've all been told that energy prices have gone up because of the war in Ukraine, with a lot of very convoluted, questionable information about exactly why that is. And we might settle for that as an explanation if energy prices had gone up 20% or 30%, but they've more than doubled in a year. We're clearly being deceived and extorted. On the face of it, globalist eco-loons have made energy unaffordable so that people consume a lesser amount of fossil fuels in the name of saving the planet. In reality, these globalist vampires are all deeply invested in the energy industry and purely playing a game of grossly enriching themselves by plunging the rest of us into poverty. We've got two options under this mafia, be cold or be broke neither of which are conducive to staying alive. You leave your heating off, you freeze, you get ill. You switch your heating on, you rack up debt, you can't afford food, you get ill. You seek out medical treatment, there is none, because all the NHS money has been spent on fun twiddling, non-job, middle management grifters. But everything's okay, guys, because Rishi Sunak is putting money directly into our bank accounts to help us pay our energy bills. Money that we never asked for. Money that will be used to justify horrifically punitive taxes for generations to come. Money that will be snatched back off us with considerable, generational, never-ending interest. Please do like and subscribe, and support my content via Patreon, PayPal or Subscribestar by following the links below this video. Your support is what keeps this channel going, so whatever you can contribute, thank you.